All right, we are back in from the field. I had to go out and cut this antenna to length. What we want to do is we want to separate the 70 foot of the antenna element from the remaining 20 foot of counterpoise wire. Cut the 70 foot first section first because I can give you more wire to fix the counterpoise problem, but it would be really hard for both of us if I gave you more wire to fix the antenna length problem. So now that we've got that out of the way, we need to get our frame and we need to thread through the frame for some strain relief. And this is where it gets a little interesting. We want to go in through the hole on the end. And then we want to go down on the first hole. So I'll put that in there and then I'll use a tool to put it down. Down on the first one. And then up on the second one. And then it should look exactly like it does in the photo where you go in, down, and up on the top side. And it should look like that on the back side. Give yourself some extra wire here so you've got room to work. And then we'll back it back off again in the end. I have a pair of helping hands. I use these infrequently, but often enough. So I'm going to strip off the end of the wire I'm going to take my ring terminal and put it in my crimper. I want to take my wire and put it in my ring terminal and I want to crimp it down. And then I'm going to add some solder back to it to give it some extra strength. Let that cool off a bit before I touch it and now we can land it on our antenna lug. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna pull this wire back down through the frame. And now we've got our strain relief. Before you go outside, do the same thing to the counterpoise side of it. And now we're good to go for the counterpoise. There are lots of different ways to do this because of how thin this wire is. I like doing it this way. All right, so we're at the far end of the antenna and I just have it tied off to a step-in post. And it's a completely plastic post except for the part at the ground. You step in to put it into the ground. So let me undo this and I'll shrink up the wire a bit and we'll be right back. What I've done is I've twisted it around itself and then just kind of tied a knot off at the end there. Let's go back and look at the radio. All right, holy moly, look at that. So we are flat. That first bar, that first dotted line above the yellow line is two to one. And we are flat from 7003 all the way up to 7.388. So that's pretty good. There is no tuner on if there was. You'd see the ATU light up on the screen. So this is the 15 meter band. Let's hit the scanner again. And we're at two to one-ish below the band. And then we get into the band and there's a little dip right there at the beginning. And it's still below two to one for most of that line. So let's go to 10. And 10 looks pretty good. So this is a trick that I learned from my buddy Ape about how to do the ends of the wire. We got it all tuned in, we got it all folded back on itself. And so now, if I can get this thing to focus, there we go. Um, we put those extra zip ties. I bet you were wondering what all those zip ties were for. There's one. There's 
There's two. And I'm never going to find those ever again. And then I want to separate the wire and make sure I cut the, the right side of the wire. Otherwise, that was all for nothing. But uh, I got it all tuned up, and I am very happy with it. <sighs> it's cold out there. We got it all tuned up and ready to roll. I didn't get a whole lot of footage because it is still winter in Wisconsin. It's ridiculous. It's April, and it is snowing outside. I actually had to cut short the filming and get back in because it was snowing. This is ridiculous. I'm tapping maple syrup trees in April. Got the whole thing tuned up, really happy with the results. I will do a better video when the weather is warmer and I can stay out longer. Um, there is still a couple more things to do with this to make it ready to go. So be sure you are subscribed to the channel and keep on searching for Cartena-Artemis. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.